Now, this dream was not about Dosin at all. It's not like the Lord was telling me that, okay, this is the state of the life of Dosin. You can't know. I don't believe that is what the Lord was telling me. But it was about me. And it was about the fact that we as believers, if we are not carrying the presence of God, we will not be able to stand against the powers of the enemies. Okay, so this is not a laughing matter because it is not even funny at all. But to be sincere, sometimes when I remember some of these revelations that I've had, you know, through dreams or other means, I laugh at myself. I laugh, to be sincere. Recently, I've been thinking about this. It has been coming to my mind. It has been a while. Like, I've even forgotten some part of them. But now it has been coming to my mind again and again. And I decided that let me share this revelation that I had. And at the same time, let me share the lessons that the Lord taught me from what I saw. Okay, so this day, I had this dream. And in this dream, I was being chased by a demon. I know that this was a demon being like if you ask me to describe i don't think i can even remember enough to describe but it was a good chase so you know you know you know a situation where you are being chased you can see people around like you're running from one place to the other and all the places that you're running to they had people around filled with people but nobody even saw you talk less of seeing the demon chasing you or should i say nobody can even see you like you are somehow invisible now the last time i i i i, I had this type of revelation the lord was teaching me about courage that i should not be ruled by fear you just need to stand up and take courage but this time a different lesson entirely and so in this dream i was just running around like i would stop chasing me i was looking for who to help me i was running from one place to the other and then I got to a place. I can't remember how it happened. Maybe Don Sinyo Yekon came in. Or maybe he was there. I can't really remember. But I remember that Don Sinyo Yekon was there. And immediately he spoke. Like no struggle. Demon that has been chasing me. And mind you, it was chasing me because somehow I could not deal with it. Mind you, Don Sinyo did not even struggle. He didn't do what I did or what. He did not even run. He was not even moved. The past I could remember, he was not even moved. Like he just spoke, rebuked the demon and the demon left. And I was like, wow. Like, so it can be this simple. It can be this easy. So why have I been stressing myself? And you know, when I woke up from the dream, I was like, Lord, what is the meaning of this? Because I did not want to give my heart to fear. You know, when you, when you dream sometimes, if you immediately give your heart to fear, you may miss the message that the Lord is sending to you or the message that the Lord is passing to you through the dream. It is not all dreams that appear negative, that are actually negative. There are things in the dream that the Lord sometimes wants you to pay attention to. And let me say again, that it is not all the dreams that we have that have spiritual meaning. No, there are some that are just dreams. But this one had spiritual meaning and the Lord was not quiet when I woke up. Because before I could even like come back to full consciousness, the Lord had told me what the dream meant. And he told me about intimacy. And he told me that if you give your time to me, if you grow intimacy with me if you become intimate with me all those principalities all those powers you will see that they don't have any power to begin with that is when you will be able to stand and that is when you will be able to stand in the authority that i've given to you and you will be able to resist them one because you have grown to know me you have known who you are in me and because you have worked intimately with me now remember that in the book of james chapter 4 verse 7 the bible says that submit yourself to god resist the devil and he will flee from you but the problem is that a lot of us we just want to chase the devil we want to command the devil to go but we don't want to submit to god so what the Lord was correcting me on there was that I had not been submitting to God as I ought to. I had allowed other things to take the place of intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Like the worship, prayer, fellowshipping personally with God. 
I was lacking in that area. So if we want to be able to stand against the powers of the enemies, we need to submit to God so that we can resist the devil and then the devil will flee from us. Now, many times when the devil comes with different ideas, we don't rebuke those ideas. We don't reject those ideas. We don't resist the devil. And then the devil cannot, will not even flee. Because instead of submitting to God, we are submitting to the flesh. And when you're submitting to the flesh, that is one way of submitting to the devil. So how can you chase devils? How can you rebuke and cast out demons? How can you, how can your own presence disrupt demonic activities when you have not been giving yourself to God? When you have not been submitting to God? When you have not been resisting the devil? So we should not just take one part of that verse. But we should take it all. Submit, resist, the devil will flee. So that is what I learned from that. And I decide that I want to share. And I hope that it has blessed you. And I hope that you have gotten one or two things from this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. So don't forget that Jesus loves you so much. And no matter what you are going through, Jesus is for you. He's not leaving you. He's not forsaking you. And in case you have been away from the presence of God, it is never too late to come back and the road will never be blocked. So come back to Jesus. Bye.